seven. Good balance, open three-pointers, even some second-chance opportunities as they out-rebounded the Celtics by 10 in that first half. All right, for the Celtics, Mark, what has to be the key, key thing to turn around here in the second half? Well, Doc Rivers touched on it during the Wyatt. It starts on the defensive end. They have to find ways to get stops, and that good defense will create good offense. And the third quarter has belonged to the Celtics so far in this series. You saw those numbers. And the Celtics certainly need a big third quarter here to get back in the game. They were down by as many as 24. Have never led in this one. As Pierce quickly draws a foul. And we'll send it to Michelle. Well, you guys heard Doc Rivers telling his team we've got to make plays. And he told me coming out of the locker room, specifically on loose balls, he feels the Lakers are making more plays on things like loose balls, the little things, than they are. I asked him if this is such a high hurdle that they have to expend so much energy to get over it that almost seems impossible. And he said, we've got two days off after this. There's plenty of time to rest later, Mike. Well, that idea of loose balls and hustle plays, he felt the same thing after game three as Pierce knocks down the first free throw. And what you don't want to do as a Celtic player right now is think that you're going to, you're going to take over the game on the offensive end. It's not about that. It's about taking over the game defensively. But having been there as a coach, sometimes you don't tell the whole truth when you're asked by a reporter. If you were telling the whole truth, you say, we have gotten as poor a point guard play as you could have in a final. And they are totally, I have never seen a team totally neglect one player like they are neglecting Rondo with Kobe Bryant. If you don't tell the truth, I think you should apologize to Mark for lying to him right now. <laughs> you tell the truth as an announcer, but you can't always tell the truth Garnett. as a coach. Garnett trying to get himself on track, knocks that one down. Kevin Garnett with his fourth field goal, and it's 14. Uh, the other Lakers, you don't, you don't mind that shot. You're keeping Garnett at the top of the key. He has to make a tough, contested jump shot. You don't mind that. That's good defense. Bryant and Pierce. Kobe Bryant puts it in. That's his first field goal. And, Mike, I don't want to go back to the Celtics point guard play. It wasn't just Rondo. Eddie House came in there, missed wide open shots. Cassell, the same thing. And I like what Rondo's doing right there. Make him play you. You cannot be ignored. And if he has to shoot four, five, six, seven straight times, so be it. And you send him the message. By being unselfish, you're hurting your basketball team. They're daring you to be a scorer. You have to make them pay the price. Gasol left open. Rondo gets a hand up. And Garnett the rebound. Even, Jeff, even if he misses several in a row, again, he drives, finds Perkins. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Still Celtic ball. Just like here, they're running a little screen and roll. Just by it, driving to score is so critical. Too often, Rondo drives to pass. And when you're playing against a team seven straight times, they start to notice tendencies. So he's got to think score first on his penetration. Again, Kobe Bryant, who has been guarding in the last couple of games, and as Jeff mentioned, backing off him. Garnett, wide open shot, short. Ray Allen, the offensive rebound. Boards have belonged to the Lakers so far tonight. Pierce to Garnett. Garnett drives on Gasol, stops it, backs it in, and it's a 12-point game. Celtics slowly chipping away. Uh, Kevin Garnett puts so much pressure on your defense when he catches the ball on the block, has the skills to take a turnaround jump shot and also put the ball on the floor. Fisher to Bryant. Back out, Odom. He's not a three-point shooter. Drives to the basket, draws the foul. Perkins is hurt. He's holding his left shoulder. Perkins quickly walks over to the Celtic bench. That's four on Perkins, but this right now, the injury more important, Eddie Lassert. The head athletic trainer attending to him. He's in some pain. He's a tough kid, too. It's Brian McKean, the doctor. And right away, he grabbed it. He's going back to the locker room. You see Dr. Rivers realized immediately when he walked over to Perkins, began to walk away upset that his big guy had to go in the back. Think about it. How often have you seen this number of players in one series 
get hurt. Pierce, Rondo, Hurt and second Perkins. injury. He had that ankle injury earlier, and now the, the shoulder. So Odom having just a fabulous game. That's just the 16 points. He's got eight rebounds as well. And Perkins in a lot of pain. Young man had some terrific games here in the postseason as one of the support players behind the big three. Pierce. D.J. Brown left open. Can't get it to go. Garnett can't control the board. The Soul's done a better job on the board, too. Radmanovic lays it in. You just look at the skill level of Lamar Odom and what he can do on the floor. Catches it on the run. The beautiful touch pass back to Radmanovic. He's got 17 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists. That's Lamar Odom. Garnett misses. Garnett said, and the entire Celtic team felt they settled for too many jumpers in game three. You guys talked about it over and over again. Just good things happen when he posts up. Well, if I'm a coach against the Celtics, I understand Kevin Garnett is a superior player. If he's going to beat me, it's going to have to be from the perimeter. Kobe Bryant fires away. That's good. Hand in his face, and the lead is back to 18. A very interesting switch, putting Pierce on Bryant to start the second half. I thought Ray Allen had done a very good job against Kobe Bryant. Garnett throws it out of bounds. Some miscommunication as the Celtics turn it over for the 10th time. Well, this is just very good defense by Pierce. Better offense, jab step jumper, good contest by Pierce. And you see what Doc Rivers decided to do, takes P.J. Brown out of the ball game, brings in James Posey, so he's going small across the board. The small lineup has worked on several occasions throughout the playoffs. But it's also a lineup born out of desperation, too. This is not how they normally play, but when you're down 18, what you're trying to do is capture some energy, stretch the floor with more three-point shooting, hopefully have more speed for some transition opportunities. Here's some Bryant. Odom shuffled his feet and nearly throws it away. Radmanovic tries to save it, and it goes out of bounds. Celtic ball. Celtics need Paul Pierce. He's just two of six from the field. Of course, it's been a homecoming for Pierce. Went to Inglewood High School, which is right by the old L.A. Forum. Grew up a big Laker fan. We've talked about it. Hated the Celtics as a kid. He's struggling game three here in his hometown. And struggling tonight as well. Rondo. Posey. That's a three. Short. And Gasol, his eighth board. Just over four minutes gone by here in the third. Lakers have led the entire game by a comfortable margin. Radmanovic. Shot clock at seven. Bryant lifts up. Odom tips the rebound to himself. Hooked away by Rondo. Odom trying to post up Ray Allen. A mismatch there. Kobe Bryant finding Gasol. Fisher, nice fake, two-pointer. Lead is back to 20. Timeout, Celtics. Once again, the Lakers answer back after a mini Celtic run. L.A. with eight straight points again. Well, Lakers, the best offensive team in the NBA. Gasol on a touch pass to Fisher. Great shot fake by Fisher. Knocks in the jumper. And the great facilitator, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Lakers up 20. Here at the Staples Center, Los Angeles. Again, packed with celebrities. David Beckham, basketball royalty with Kareem. He was introduced before the game. Diane Cannon, of course, longtime season ticket holder. Saw so many of Magic's games. Recently retired champ Floyd Mayweather Jr. Flea, I'm told, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Of course, we heard from Will Smith and his wife sitting courtside.
And of course, NBA fan Jack Nicholson. You know, the uh, report is Pierce drives down, banks it in. A report today's LA Times said on StubHub, there were courtside seats being sold for $22,000 each, two of them. $22,000. That means the Smiths had to pay forty-four grand to come tonight? Well, to Will Smith? We don't know if they're the ones that bought those. Did it take you that long to figure out 22000 plus 22000 I was caught. <laughs> Alex, the rebound. Just like a hesitation dribble gives you time to make a decision, so too in math. Garnett. Takes it back out, Ray Allen. Allen finding an open James Posey for three. In and out, that one halfway down before the soul with his ninth rebound. But again, with Eddie House on the floor, they're going to be able to spread the floor more than with Rondo on the floor. Nice give and go, Radmanovic got hit. Check won't go, but he'll go to the line. And this is what makes the Lakers so dangerous on the offensive end. Everybody can catch, everybody can make a play, and most importantly, everybody can pass the basketball. You pass the ball on the block, good things happen. Shop, crisp, cut to the hoop. The handoff from Gasol to Radmanovic, that's just solid basketball, tough to defend. Vladimir Radmanovic to the line. This is his seventh year in the league. Lakers are his third team. Started out with Seattle, played with the Clippers. Young man who grew up in Yugoslavia, war-torn country during his childhood, had a rough childhood. And now here in the NBA, and at times can be an explosive player. He's the one, though, that Phil Jackson has a couple of names for him, including the space cadet he's called him. Tends to get out there sometime. I remember watching him in a world championship game years ago playing for Yugoslavia. His coach got into an argument with him at halftime, kicked him off the team, and he sat in the stands in his uniform for the second half. Pierce to the basket, banks it in. And 70 to 52. You know, that happened to me in high school. This kid, Buddy Lester, Rockford High School, he just took off at halftime and went and sat in the stand. It was so weird. What I can just imagine in a, in a game like that. Were you coaching or were you a teammate, Brad? No, I was a teammate. He wasn't getting time or touches. Hey, it happens at every level. How about he does that and then you give Buddy Lester a shout out? <laughs> Eddie House for three. That's good. So five quick points by the Celtics. It's back to 15. But see, that's how you're going to create better shots. But they need Rondo's strengths. You know, Ben Southers would be great if they could play House at the offensive end and Rondo at the defensive end, like Iowa girls basketball. <laughs> Ryan has it as they come up on five minutes remaining here in the third. Here's guarding in. Turn around, shot, lock, Pierce. Excellent defensive play. And then the outlet. Here comes Ray Allen up for the layup and a hard foul from Fisher. Hard but clean. And Allen will shoot two. I really like the way that Paul Pierce has come out to play. Offensively, looking to put the ball on the floor, be aggressive, and then defensively. Guard Kobe Bryant help doesn't come, forces him to spin baseline, contest, and then the outlet pass, putting Ray Allen in position for transition, gets fouled. And I mentioned earlier why the change. Maybe that's why the change was made, so they didn't have to double Kobe Bryant in the post like they do when Ray Allen's guarding him. And if that's the case, being able to stay at home more and make him a jump shooter in the post, that's a good switch by Doc Rivers. Meanwhile, he's still without Kendrick Perkins. Let's get an update from Michelle. Well, I'm outside the Celtics locker room, Mike, and uh, Kendrick Perkins is still inside. He may return to this game. He's got a left shoulder strain. That's what they're calling it right now, but he's undergoing some further evaluation by team doctor Brian McKeon. They say he may return, so we'll uh, keep an eye on it, Mike. All right, Michelle, thank you. Seven straight points, though, for Boston right now. Every time they get to within 12 or 13, Lakers go on another run. Good aggressive defense that time, almost a steal. Bryant alley up to Gasol. A broken play turns into a dunk for the Lakers. Outstanding read by Kobe Bryant, recognizing he had enough time, went up to shoot, and found Gasol. Seventh assist of the game for Kobe Bryant. He has as many assists as points. Garnett doubled. Posey wide open for three. Won't go. From three-point range, they're five for 18. But those are good looks. They're just going to have to make them. Lamar Odom lost it out of bounds. They say last touch by Posey. I think if you're Lamar Odom, you have to recognize there's four smalls on the floor for the Celtics. You're being defended by James Posey. Find a way to get into the paint and make plays towards the basket. 
Posey pokes it away. Thirteen on the shot clock as the inbound. Odom and a travel. What do they call? No, they call a foul first on Posey. He tried to do that. Lift the chair out from underneath. That defensive play we've seen. Instead, it's his fourth foul. Doc Rivers didn't like the call. Sometimes, though, when guys try and do it, they grab the jersey. Not a lot there. I think prior to the catch, grabbed the jersey, but that looked like a clean defensive play by Posey. Odom picks it out. Fisher for three. A rainbow shot won't go. And Ray Allen the rebound. Allen looking for an opening. Eddie House, nice feed to Posey. And the layup. Pretty pass from Eddie House, and it's back to 13 again. Crowd trying to get fired up again. This place was rocking early as the Lakers went up by as many as 24 points. Celtics have tried to chip away. Gasol, bank shot in and out. Rabanovich with a rebound. Fisher inside, poked away and stolen. Dangerous pass. Ray Allen to the basket and banks it in. And it's 11. This is the closest they've been since the opening minutes. And Phil Jackson calls timeout. Celtics right back in this game with 2.58 remaining in the third. Well, right now the Lakers has a size and strength advantage, but the Celtics are scrapping, digging out loose balls. Here, two on one break. Ray Allen to the rim. That's got to be a foul by Rodmanovich. Very good early start to this third quarter by the Celtics. Welcome back to Los Angeles here at the Staples Center. Game four of the NBA Finals. Celtics lead it two games to one. Well, boy, do they came out with a flourish here to start. 35-14 after one. Of course, game one, Paul Pierce was terrific after coming back from the knee injury. He had 22 points. Celtics took the opener. Pierce was magnificent again in game two. Got some help from Leon Poe. And Boston held serve for the first two games at the New Garden. And Kobe Bryant with a 36-point performance. Got some help from Sasha Vujicic, and the Lakers get on the board in the finals. Here in game four, they've led by as many as 24 points in the first half. The Celtics now have cut it to 11. Closest they've been since about midway through the first. Bryant the runner, shot won't go, rebound fought for, and taken by Garnett as the Celtics slowly have chipped away at the lead. Eddie House out there. The lone bench player actually Posey as well with the big three, Pierce, Garnett, and Allen. And an offensive foul is called on Garnett on a moving screen. And that's his third. You talk about the end of the last game when Bujacic made the point that Garnett had a bunch of illegal screens. Obviously, the back screen does not allow a reason to run to defend. Offensive foul by KG. Trevor Ariza getting some big minutes and performing very well. Another one of those unlikely players coming up big in an NBA Finals game. Gasol backs in. Nice fake. Stripped by Posey, but a whistle and a foul. Is it Posey or Garnett? It's Posey, and that's a break for the Celtics. Although Posey has five, maybe not such a break. It would have been Garnett's fourth. See the chess match being played by both coaches. Phil Jackson decides to go small, puts in Trevor Reese, so he now has four perimeter guys on the floor along with one big. Kyle Gasol knocks down the first. He's having a better game, 13 points and nine rebounds. Meanwhile, checking in for the first time is Tony Allen. Doc Rivers deciding to go with Allen. Allen hasn't played at all in the finals. He hurt his Achilles at practice playing one-on-one -on -one during the Eastern Conference Finals. Hasn't played the last five games. Hasn't played a heck of a lot at all in the postseason. He's like their third string point guard and backup two guard as well. 
And he's the guy that really won the game here in L.A. in the regular season uh, when the Celtics were shorthanded, came up big, really playing the point guard position then. Here's to the basket. Lots of contact counting and a foul. What a move from Pierce and a chance for a three-point play as the lead is cut to ten. Everything good happens when you get the ball into the paint. Here, Ariza just bodying up. Good rip-through move by Pierce. Great use of his strength and the ability to go up on one side, finish on the other to protect the ball versus shot blockers. Tremendous finish by Pierce. And bad defense by Ariza. The help was toward the middle of the floor. No one was at home on the weak side, allowed him to go baseline uncontested. Here's eight of his 14 have come here in the third. And for the first time since very early in this game, in the opening minutes, the Celtics have it to single digits. A 14 to three run, and it's a nine point game with still a whole quarter to play. Gasol poked away, Ariza has it. He's tied up. Bryant to Gasol, nice pass. Gasol can't finish. And Tony Allen the rebound. Garnett, foul by Gasol. Lakers not in the penalty yet. Two on Pau Gasol. Give Kevin Garnett a lot of credit, not quitting on the play. The touch pass by Bryant to Gasol doesn't allow him the easy one, but if you're Gasol, that's, that has to be at the rim. That's a basket and a foul. You're too big and too skilled to get that shot blocked. Celtics trying to do something that the Lakers did, although they didn't win it in game two. Remember that game in Boston? Celtics were up by 24 with seven and a half to play in the fourth. Lakers had that huge run, cut it to two. They came up short. He wants the Celtics tonight. who were down by as many as 24. Garnett, the extra pass. House for three. Puts it in. And it's 73-67, a six-point game. Good ball movement starts with the penetration. Mistake by Jordan Farmer. You cannot leave a shooter wide open. That's not your responsibility to help. And still over a minute to play here in the third. A 17-3 run for the Boston Celtics. Kobe Bryant fires away. Rebound tipped and taken by Ray Allen. Vujicic with his harassing defense. Final minute of what has been, again, another strong third quarter for the Boston Celtics. Every game in the series, they've won the third. Ray Allen to the basket, and he's fouled on the pass. But he'll shoot free throws as the Lakers in the penalty. Not to belabor the point, but when you put five guys who can shoot on the floor, everyone got more opportunities. There, as Mark said, a mistake by Farmar starting to rotate up, which left House open. But it's because House can spread the floor to the three-point line. That's what opens up passing angles. We see the third quarter score tonight. Paul Pierce has been a part of that. Ray Allen as well. Allen has had a terrific series. Hits that free throw. Ray Allen averaging a team leading 20 points per game, shooting 51% in the series. Those are his numbers tonight. But after that shooting slump earlier in the playoffs, he's been tremendous. Well, he's been spectacular on both ends of the floor. Really has been consistent and steady. And this crowd absolutely stunned as the Celtics have climbed back from 24 down on the first half, from 20 down here on the third, to a four-point deficit. Bryant looks up at a shot clock, fixes his sleeve. Vujicic, Farmar, shot clock to three, has to throw it up. Air ball, Ray Allen the rebound. And the Celtics will hold it for the final shot of the third quarter. If I'm Ray Allen, I'm going to use Vujicic's aggressiveness against him and try to get another foul call. Final second, P.J. Brown dunks it with 1.7 remaining, and it's a two-point game. Vujicic, that'll count if it goes. Not a bad attempt, but off the mark. And the Celtics on a 21-3 run, climb back to within two. 
An unbelievable turnaround on the road for the Boston Celtics as they outscore them 31 to 15 here in the quarter. Celtics trying to take a 3-1 lead in this best of seven series. Lakers trying to even things up. Two-point game as we head to the fourth quarter of game four of the finals. We got to compete if we want to win. We can't pout and mope. We got to compete, all right? Let's go. Do you believe? All right, let's Keep go. Keep fighting. Never stop believing, baby. Back in Los Angeles, a huge third quarter run by the Celtics, and that leaves the Lakers up by two. How did Boston get back in this thing? I don't know. How'd they do it? You're supposed to know, not me. Well, momentum's a strange girl. She really jumped on the other side of the ship. And, you know, we just did things down there offensively that would put us in bad situations. So they got transition game going and their half-court game going. Paul Pierce, a lot, of effort, a lot of effort in that half. What does momentum do now? What do you do to try to get it back on your side? It'll come back. We'll be all right. Thank, be good you. Thank you, Bill. Mike? Well, he always seems poised as his team was up by 24 in the first half. Justin Timberlake trying to root them on, but Kevin Garnett and the Celtics never say die. Attitude. Tell you what, we know what we have in Phil Jackson, but Doc Rivers has done an outstanding job of coaching his team and not panicking, and they really have, have taken his attitude and approach. Pierce on Bryant, shot clock down to six. There's the double. Bryant lobs it in. Roni Turiak hammered by P.J. Brown, and he'll shoot two. Some important bench players out there right now for the Lakers. They've got Odom and Bryant, but then Turiaf, Farmar, and Vujicic. And Turiaf will get a chance at the line now. And we can talk about Paul Pierce looking to attack offensively in that third quarter, but I thought just as important was the job he did on Kobe Bryant defensively in that entire quarter. Limiting the amount of help needed, contested, and contained the best player in the world. And because the Lakers are up by so many points, Kobe Bryant, we haven't talked so much about his lack of scoring. Your job is to keep him in front of you. Make him work. Limit the amount of help that you need. And then when it when help does come, make sure you get back attached to his body. An outstanding job by Pierce. You have Kobe Bryant vacillating between best player in the world and best player on the planet. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> just like to use different words. Exactly. Turiaf misses both free throws. Bryant's just two for 11 from the field. Pierce jump shot. Short. Oh, trying to keep it alive. And a loose ball foul against the Lakers. Celtics will get a new 24. I think he had control of that, and it was a shooting foul. I disagree with Tom Washington here. So he calls it a loose ball foul. Either way, Celtics has a chance to score here. That's control, and that's a shot. That's two free throws. I don't know if he got full control there. Well, even Doc Rivers on the sideline upset with that call. He felt the same way that coach did. We'd be begging for every call coaches do. <laughs> D.J. Brown back to Pierce. Pierce on the drive. Pulls up. And offensive foul on Pierce. Pushing off. That's just his first. As the Lakers will get it back. And you see the adjustment also by Phil Jackson to start this quarter. He puts Kobe Bryant back on Pierce, realizing the damage that Pierce did in that third quarter. And if I'm Doc Rivers, I'm thinking about real hard about giving, getting Kevin Garnett back into that game so we can post the ball again. Bryant, that's a two-pointer off the mark. Uh, Bridget tracks down the rebound. Just over a minute gone by here in the fourth. You're just tuning in. Lakers had a 24-point lead in the first half. Vujicic won't go that time, and Poe tracks down a rebound. They were up by 20 in the third, but the Celtics should come back within two. Ray Allen on the drive finds Eddie House for two-pointer. Too strong. Uh, P.J. Brown tracks down the rebound, and they'll reset. Foul on Vujicic, over-aggressive on his defense off the ball against Ray Allen. That 
would be his third foul. And the second on the Lakers. Both guys fighting, getting up on the floor. Vujicic, veteran move. That's a scissor move. This is wrestling. <laughs> he does it right in front of Jaffe, as you can see. Deion Cole wants the ball. Cole, big game. Back in Boston in game two. Backs in, jump shot, banks it in. And the Celtics have come back from 24 down to tie the game. What a turnaround for Boston here on the road. Crowd anxious now. Kobe Bryant, the runner. Short, Allen the rebound. Kobe Bryant, just 2 of 13 from the field. Allen to Brown, to Poe, inside, won't go. Tip. That misses as well, and Buya takes the rebound. Lakers have led this entire game. Kobe Bryant up and under. Oh, what a sensational move. Just his third field goal, but it puts them back up by two. And we are watching some of the best defense on the floor so far by Pierce and Bryant competing against each other on both ends. Pierce double. Eddie House back to Pierce. Shot clock at five. Pierce on the drive. Tough shot in the hand in his face. He puts it in, and we're tied again. That's good D, but better offense. You're talking about two superior offensive guys finding a way to will the basketball in. One of the young Lakers out on the floor here at crunch time of game four of the finals. And a blocking foul on Pierce. His second and the team's second. Two heavyweight players battling here in game four of the NBA Finals. Well, Brian has struggled all night, but here in transition, pick and roll mistake by the Celtics. Bryant, head of steam, gets all the way to the rim, and then as the shot clock is winding down, Pierce, an excellent individual offensive move. The pull-up jumper against a good contest by Bryant. And Ke Kevin Garnett said, that's nasty. <laughs> Aerial coverage brought to you by Goodyear. Get there on Comfort Tread Technology. Staples Center game four of the NBA Finals between the Celtics and the Lakers. The series will continue Sunday, game five, right back here at the Staples Center. And then, if necessary, returns to Boston for game six on Tuesday, game seven Thursday. The game's all on ABC. Tip off shortly after 9 Eastern. Meanwhile, for the Lakers, they were up 24. It's now tied. And no team in NBA Finals history has ever come back to win the championship after falling behind 3-1 in the series. If the Celtics win tonight, they'll be up 3-1. Right now, the Lakers have lost their rhythm. Three on the shot clock. Odom way off, and Eddie House the rebound. This crowd has become very quiet. He's so nervous right now. Garnett, single coverage Odom. Here comes the help. Garnett spins away. Shot won't go. And Farmar the rebound. And we're witnessing outstanding defense on both ends of the floor. That was solid D by Odom on one end, contesting and keeping Kevin Garnett in front of him, forcing him to take a tough Bryant looking. Two-pointer. It's good. Lakers back up by two. We talk about it all the time. Nobody closes a game better than Kobe Bryant. He's been off most of the night. And that doesn't matter come fourth quarter time. Eddie House the jump shot. And Farmar the rebound. Seven and a half remaining. Bryant. Up and under, short that time, and Garnett able to grab it. Boston has to keep their pace up the floor. They were going well when it was a transition game, now settling for half court. Kevin Garnett, tough shot, knocks it down. 12 points from Garnett, and we're tied again at 77. That's a big time move by Kevin Garnett. Good contest by Suryak, but Garnett feeling. Suryak throws it 
back out. Vujicic. Hurry out with the jump shot. Too strong, and Eddie House helping out on the boards. Paul Pierce after a struggle in the first half, getting it going a bit here in the second half. Garnett finds P.J. Brown. Brown puts it up. Shot won't go. Vujicic the rebound. Celtics have had numerous opportunities to take a lead, but have come up empty every time. Odom gets it to go. Eight for ten from the field is Odom, and the Lakers back up by two. The advantage that you get when you push the ball in transition, bigs trailing the play. Odom, good job catching the finish. Eight assists for Kobe Bryant, and a night where he's shooting four for 16 from the field. And a blocking foul on Turiaf. That's going to be the third team foul on the Lakers. Two on Turiaf. Posey comes in for P.J. Brown. Come on, offensively for the Celtics. You have Kevin Garnett use him properly. They put him on the block. His ability to have length and separate himself. A big-time post-up play. So the Celtics going with that small unit that helped them in the third quarter. Lakers counter by bringing Pau Gasol back in the game. I like the move by Doc Rivers because you can not defend P.J. Brown. You can overhelp on him. When you substitute Posey, he's a knockdown shooter, so everybody has to be accountable. Midway point, fourth quarter. Uh, game four of the NBA Finals. Lakers clinging to a two-point lead. Pierce on the pull-up. Too strong. Farmer another rebound. And Pierce hurt himself after that shot. Bryant to the basket and the jam. Pierce grimacing down the other end of the floor after he missed a shot, holding his right ankle. He says he's okay to Kevin Garnett. And now will walk off the floor. As Kobe Bryant with another big play to put the Lakers up by four. The MVP of the NBA trying to win a championship for the Lakers. Kobe Bryant trying to get the Lakers even in this series of two games apiece. You see his start in the fourth quarter. He had 13 points in the fourth quarter of game two. He had 10 points in the fourth quarter of game three. And as the Lakers now lead by four. Lakers in the playoffs, 10 and 0 when leading heading into the final period. And they were nursing a two point lead to start the period. Right now lead by four. LA undefeated at home in this postseason, 9 and 0. Allen falls down, gets it to Garnett. And back out corner to Posey. That's a three. It's good. Posey from downtown, and it's a one-point game again. See the difference if you overhelp with Posey on the floor. You have to pay the price. A small power forward, but can stretch the floor, catches, and knock down a big jump. 81-80 Lakers with this standing here in the fourth. Here's trying to fight over the screen. Bryant to the basket. Bank shot off the mark. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Posey. The shot did not hit the rim, so there's only six left on the shot clock. Six, 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 Bryant will inbound. Six to shoot. The soul trying to make his move on Garnett. Stops, forces it up, puts it in. Tough shot from Al Gasol. And I think it's crucial if the Celtics are going to play small, then Gasol and Odom have to dominate the paint. Garnett trying to dominate the paint, draws the foul. And he'll go to the line as Gasol picks up his third. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Bryant, the play was for him for dribble handoff. Couldn't be accomplished. Garnett, not a good individual defensive possession, but a tough shot in traffic for Pau Gasol. And thank you, Pau, for not going to the chest thump to show that you got heart. Nothing wrong with the chest pump. Barnett's first free throw is good. Text the last name of your choice for the T-Mobile player of the game to 38657 from any wireless phone or go to NBA.com slash vote. The vote online. The win will be announced at the end of tonight's game. You're just tuning in. The Celtics were getting run off the floor early. Trailed by 22 points in the first quarter.
by 24 in the second. The lead was still 20 in the third, but they come back to tie it several times, but have yet to take the lead. As they try and take a 3-1 lead in the series, Lakers desperately trying to hold on. Odom looks up at the shot clock. He had a big start. Odom backs in, layup won't go, Pierce tips it. And the Celtics with possession again, another chance to take the lead. Many in the crowd on their feet here at the Staples Center. Eddie House, quick jump shot. It's good. And the Celtics have their first lead of the game with four minutes remaining here in the fourth. And Eddie House is a knockdown shooter. Doesn't matter how many he missed, he's going to remain calm. Double figures for House with 10. Gasol knocked away by Ray Allen. A bad pass and a turnover. And the Celtics call timeout. With 3.48 remaining, and this crowd is stunned. And the Celtics have made some great adjustments in their pick and roll defense. They're softer on the screener, which is taking away those high-low passes that we saw in the first half. One of the great comebacks in Celtic history. And Justin Hicks and Kevin Streelman. Streelman. That three under. Always some unknown players to start. Meanwhile, Eddie House, not an unknown player, but he has played a big role in this comeback. Celtics by one, 84-83. Pierce. Three-pointer for Pierce. Short. And Ray Allen with a rebound. Allen with nine rebounds in the game. And Paul Pierce wanting the basketball, realizing that Farmer was on him. Now it's a 1-4, looking to get to his spot. Allen on the drive to the basket, up and under, squeezes it in. And it's a three-point lead for the Celtics with 3.13 remaining. Boston trying to pull off one of the greatest comebacks in NBA playoff history. Three minutes left. Lakers now find themselves down by three in a game they led by as many as 24. Vujicic knocked away by Allen, gets it back. Two on the shot clock, has to put it up. Odom, the offensive rebound. Back to Vujicic. And he wanted to shoot that one. Bryan on the drive, trying to create some space. Back out, Farmar for three. Here's the rebound with two and a half remaining. Boston Celtics with a three-point lead in an incredible turnaround here on the road. Garnett, hot step in the paint, and gets the bounce. They're up by five, 88-83. Timeout Lakers with 2-10 remaining. An 8-0 run. As the Celtics getting it done here in game four, down the stretch. Ray Allen has been the Celtics' consistently best player in this series. A great baseline drive up and under on his way down. Kisses it off the glass. And then a mismatch late in the clock. Garnett, hard drive left, great jump stop. The high release jumper, Celtics up five. Two ten remaining, fourth quarter of Game Four. Celtics trying to go up three to one in these NBA Finals. They've overcome a twenty-four point first half deficit and now lead by five. Mark Jackson, what's the key to this? Well, the key is defensively the Celtics got it done. You're talking about 20, uh, twenty-five points in the second half. Good job of executing defense. Uh, foul down the other end. What do the Lakers have to do now, Jeff? Well, I like the move Phil Jackson made. Put in the unit that made the comeback in the fourth quarter in game two. Radmanovic at the four, uh, four spot to spread the floor to give Bryant the room that he needs. That time it paid dividends. He drove it to the rim, and because they couldn't help off the four spot, he's going to the free throw line. Pierce picking up his third foul. Bryant knocks it down. Let's go, Dave, let's go, let's go. Again, this would be one of the greatest comebacks in NBA playoff history. Celtics involved in the greatest. That was the game back in 2002, the Eastern Conference Finals against New Jersey. They were down 21 at home to start the fourth quarter. It was game three, came back and won it in a game they trailed by as many 
was 26. The biggest lead for the Lakers in this was 24. Three-point game, just under two to play. Bryant harassing Pierce. Bryant pulls back as Garnett gets it back to Pierce. Pierce on the drive, draws contact. And it's Pierce who will go to the line with 144 remaining. And the Celtics leading by three. It's a bad job defensively by Gasol. If you're going to trap the pick and roll, you cannot allow Paul Pierce to get around you. Your job is to stop the basketball here when he isos, pick and roll. You got to stop. He's zoning the area, allowing Paul Pierce to get into the seams of the defense. That's bad defense by Gasol. His fourth foul. Pierce from the line, five for five tonight. Celtics are 19 of 22, 86 percent. And a miss. Pierce has hit some much free throws in the playoffs. Game two of this series. In the game seven victory against Cleveland, he's knocked down some very big free throws. It shows you the luxury of Paul Pierce, too. He's the guy bringing the ball up the floor for the Celtics. Crowd trying to rattle him. And he makes one of two. It's a four-point game. Celtics still have a foul to give. Both teams still with multiple timeouts. Bryant, foul by Pierce. There's the foul to give. And they're going to call it on the floor, so the Lakers will inbound. To me, the decision for the Celtics is Kobe Bryant is going to be in the middle of the floor. He's going to attack the basket. Who do you help off of? And I would still help off Odmanovic. He's just come back in the game. I'm not allowing Kobe Bryant to go to the rim without help. He did it at the end of game three and hit a couple of big buckets with Ray Allen, the only man on him. Bryant against Pierce. Drives in. There's Garnett. Bryant puts it in. Tough shot. And it's a two-point game. 17 for Kobe Bryant. Ten of them here in the fourth quarter. you got to post Garnett here, Mark. Posey. He's had a big game. Ray Allen. Kicks it out. Posey for three. It's good. James Posey from downtown. And it's a five-point Celtic lead. 18 points for Posey off the bench. Bryant makes the three. Drives again on Pierce. Back out. Fisher knocks it down. A two-pointer. His foot was on the line. And that's a critically critical mistake by Fisher. Face the floor properly. You're going to shoot it from that distance. Make it be a three. 92-89. Three-point game under a minute to go. And Pierce able to draw the foul on Bryant. Not a lot of contact, but he played it up nicely, and he'll go to the line for two. Bryant didn't like to call his fourth personal. There's the bump, but he sold it very well. Well, he did sell it. I mean, he's not the first guy to sell a foul like that. Bottom line, though, the Celtics have made every crucial play offensively. They've taken care of the basketball and gotten a high percentage look. And a timeout called. Doc Rivers wants a full timeout with 46.8 seconds remaining. His team trailed by 24 in the first half. Celtics trailed by 20 with under six minutes to go in the third quarter. Have come back and now lead it by three with free throws coming up 92 to 89. And you look at the score, guys, 89 points right now. That's after they had 58 at halftime. What a tremendous defensive performance. Well, it's one of the best in a half in finals history. This has been a stellar defensive effort. And this lineup, though, right now where Rodmanovich is spreading the floor is going to give the Celtics trouble. But give Doc Rivers credit. At halftime, he said, guys, it's not about our offense. We've done it all season long defensively. Those guys listened to the message and found a way to get it done, getting stops and then offensively getting good looks. And let's take a look at right now. Uh, Verizon Wireless game track. Kobe Bryant has not shot well, but he didn't need the help early. His teammates were terrific. He had nine assists. And after the big lead, it started a turn in the third quarter. Once again, the third quarter belonged to the Celtics as they cut it to two heading into the fourth. And finally got their first lead of the game in that fourth quarter after trailing by as many as 24. 
And how about the play of James Posey? Ray Allen and the big three have been excellent. But Posey with 18 points. He's one of two Celtics who already have a championship. He was part of the Heat's title team back in 2006. Sam Cassell's the other. But again, another role player steps up with a huge game. What I love about it, he's a battle-tested guy on both ends of the floor. Not afraid to take shots and then a lockdown defender. Has stepped up since Perkins left the ball. Pierce now to the line, and we say it all the time. How often those games of such magnitude come down to knocking down your free throws. The Celtics can hit their free throws. They'll give themselves that needed breathing room. Pierce calmly sinks that one. Well, we saw Shane Batty of the Houston Rockets defend Kobe Bryant as well as we've ever seen anybody. I think Paul Pierce tonight has matched it and raised. Kobe Bryant, 6 of 19. Pierce has performed admirably at both ends of the floor in the playoffs. Two clutch free throws there. Five-point game with 46.8 remaining. Now it's critical you do not give up a three-point shot or a three-point play. Bryant to Gasol. That was quick. 94-91. One possession game. Garnett, trouble getting it in. Gets it to Ray Allen. Lakers do not need to foul yet. Vujicic, heavy pressure. Taking as much time off the clock. Here comes the double team. Allen, he wants to go to the line. You can tell he wants the ball in his hands. Allen on the drive, gets to the basket. Lefty layup, banks it in. And it's a five-point game with 16.4 remaining. But this is a critical mistake. They inbounded before they took the timeout. So now they can't advance the ball unless they take another timeout. So a timeout called after Ray Allen with a huge move to the basket. Let's take a look at Allen. Well, waves off the screen by Kevin Garnett. Says, I want to play one-on-one -on -one with Vujicic. It's time to dance. This is for all the marbles. Clears the floor. And then the blow by. And finishes with the left hand. Ray Allen has played the entire game. Hasn't sat for a second. 19 points and 9 rebounds. As Allen, Pierce, and Garnett all playing in their first NBA Finals. Seeing they've got... Such a golden opportunity right now to go up 3-1 to one in these NBA Finals. And you see the look on Kobe Bryant's face. All right, 15.7 seconds remaining, Jeff. Down by five. They've got to shoot three. Well, I'm going to take another timeout to advance the ball up the court so I can get into the front court. Then I'm getting the ball to Kobe Bryant in the middle of the floor and have him drive the ball to the rim. And then if something good happens and they give help, kick it out for the three. If not, right at the basket as quick as possible. They're watching Paul Pierce defend Kobe Bryant the last couple of plays. He's allowed him to get to the three-point line where he could lift. Paul Pierce, what you want to do is meet him above it and force him to drive, and he pressures the clock. And the Lakers have seen a 24-point lead disappear. Sasha Vujicic so emotional on the court, and obviously during that timeout, and as the Lakers right now, desperate, down by five with 15.7 remaining, and Jeff, as you said, Phil Jackson will use another timeout to advance the ball. Again, the rule is... If you advance the ball after gaining a defensive rebound and then call timeout, you're inbounding the ball from that spot where you call the timeout. But if you get the defensive rebound and immediately call time, you can advance the ball to the front court. And that's the mistake, because now the Lakers only have one timeout left. So if they want to play this, take it to the basket and then a foul game, you can only advance the ball one more time. The Celtics have outscored the Lakers over the last quarter and a half, 46 to 21. And if I'm the Celtics, I'm switching out and trying to deny Bryant. I want the ball to go into anybody but Bryant. And you don't want to help off a three-point shooter for yourself. Radmanovic, watch for the inbound guy to get it right back. Radmanovic, a good three-point shooter, out to Vujicic. Vujicic, that's a two-pointer. Off the mark, no good. Gasol, back out. Vujicic to Bryant. Steps back, that's a two. Short, no good. Rebound. Vujicic knocked out of bounds. Saved it, but right to Garnett. 
and House is fouled with 3.6 remaining, and the Celtics are going to take a 3-1 lead in these finals. What an amazing turnaround here in Game 4. And the crowd starting to head for the exits. They are stunned at this comeback by the Celtics. Good defense by the Celtic. Paul Pierce handing off Kobe Bryant to Garnett. He denies him the basketball, and then once he catches it off the missed shot, forces him into a tough one. That's just solid defense by the Celtics, and you can't say enough about the job that Eddie House has done off the bench, substituting for Ron. 11 points for House off the bench. Posey with 18 off the bench. And Paul Pierce starting to celebrate as his team will go up 3-1. to one. And as we mentioned, no team in NBA Finals history has ever come back from being down 3-1 to one to win the championship. And this crowd so disappointed in a game that started great for L.A. The Celtics turn in one of the great comebacks in NBA playoff history. Down 24 in the second quarter, down 20 in the third. They come back and win game four. Just a tremendous performance on the road. Pierce, again, grew up a Laker fan. Such an emotional return for him. As the Lakers go back to their locker room, obviously so disappointed.